grabbed the puppies and walked out, but the store owner got a clear picture of them on a surveillance camera. It's a story shared with us through the hashtag ABC7 Eyewitness on our Facebook page. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand is live in Compton to show us more. Jory. Yeah, it happened here at Jasmine Pet Supply and Accessories yesterday, and as you said, the owners of the store contacted us using the hashtag ABC7 Eyewitness. It was a puppy theft, and it was all caught on camera. And they call it puppy love, but two young teens came on a little too strong yesterday when surveillance video catches them grabbing two puppies out of a locked cage, stuffing them in their purses, and walking out of Jasmine's Pet Supply in Compton. Probably they had already came in before because they just come in and just open the cage and then just grab them and just kind of leave. So here's how the girls did it. While employees were busy with other customers, they came back here to this secluded corner where the boarding cages are, reached right over into the cage, grabbed two of them, and walked down. In fact, no one even noticed they were missing until closing time when they went to feed the dogs and noticed there were only three instead of five. But little did the pup nappers know the whole thing was caught on camera. We're not showing the girls' faces because they appear to be minors around only 14 or 15 years old, but the owners of the store have no such problem. We will show it to people that come in, that live around here. They pro they're probably going to recognize them. While we were there, a sheriff's deputy showed up to write up a report. He told us this was a petty theft. The pups, just a month and a half old French poodles, were $350 a piece. It's weird because they just come in and they just bring them out the cage and they just walk out like if it was like their house, like if they were like their own puppies. Now, the owner's telling me they would rather the law not get involved here. If those puppies are returned, they say they won't press charges, but if they remain missing and those uh, pup thieves are caught, they will let the law take its course. We're live tonight in Compton. Jory Rand, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.